The thematic category called strength was composed by a discursive formation that dissociated this physical capacity to characters with a certain degree of corpulence. In almost all 50 stretches found, it was stated that the burly ones are physically strong. The demonstrations of force occurred in quite different situations, from a handshake to lifting heavy objects. Amatizations were indirect and there was a tendency for growth in the number of occurrences of this type of speech throughout the period of silent cinema. To illustrate this category, nine films were selected. In the oldest of them, Le Raid Paris Monte Carlo in the Hears, from 1905, by Georges Bielis, the chief of the guards is strong, giving them punches with his belly, knocking them over. Then he manages to stop a car by himself which is barely accomplished with six men. In Charles Chaplin's 1914 knockout, the character of Arbuckle is the boxer, who makes several displays of strength in an academy, under the incredulous eyes of other fighters, the opponent's spies and the girl. It also demonstrates its strength by knocking down several other characters with a light casual punch as it passes by them. In Behind the Screen, from 1916, also by Chaplin, the demonstration of strength is simply through a handshake between the character of the vagabond and the burly big guy, played by actor Eric Campbell. In 1917's The Butcher Boy, Ross Kawarbuckle will demonstrate his strength by using his belly to deliver a blow to the villain, throwing him too far. In the 1918 The Bell Boy, the chubby man shows physical strength by throwing several men off the bench. Then, he still rips the door off the safe and flings at them, in a clear demonstration that being strong was part of his character. In One a Week, from 1920, by Buster Keaton, 
the demonstration of strength of the corpulent one will be carrying alone an enormous piano. To reinforce the idea of how strong this character was, it was contrasted with the character of Keaton, who when trying to pick up the piano was crushed under the weight of the instrument. In number, please, from 1920, by Harold Lloyd, the strength of a paunchy supporting character is in an amusement park, in one of those toys that you hit with a hammer. It hits and easily reaches the maximum score. Then he repeats the feat even with Lloyd having landed on the hammer. In Murnau's The Last Laugh, in 1924, there is a theme of this interesting association. First the burly character who acts as a messenger in a hotel demonstrates physical strength carrying heavy suitcases alone. In the middle of the film, upon being fired, he again seeks to demonstrate his physical strength by lifting a suitcase, but this time he fails, as if his power had come to an end and consequently his career. Then, when sleeping, it is again with the question of physical strength that he will dream lifting with one hand a suitcase that seven men were unable to lift. Finally, in the 1927 film Sailors, Beware, there is one of the few representations of weakness associated with burly characters. Hardy rages at a little boy, gesturing for a fight. After, the fat man appears disconcerted, sitting on the steps, indicating that he has been badly beaten by the boy. <laughs> 